this is Randy Belker with Technophobics Anonymous. Uh, uh, now we're back looking at Google Chrome. Uh, we're at the same position that we were, were before. I want to show you a little bit how to start using Chrome now in order to surf the internet. Let's take a look. Uh, this is the window that we left at. Um, this is Google Chrome. Um, <clears throat> and up at the top, we have a forward button, uh, excuse me, a back button, so you can go back to the previous page, or a forward button. As you're surfing around, if you want to go back a page, this is the button you're using. This button right here is the re reload page, or refresh. Right? Sometimes you want to get the latest version of the page that you're on. This is the way to do it. There's only one place up here for you to put in information. Right? And this is the place, uh, I guess I can't highlight it, but this is called the command line. I'll type it in there. The command line. Right? This is where you're going to put words in that you want to search, um, that you're interested in. So for instance, if you want to know about, um, well, let's just type in command line and see what Google brings back to us. It's going to go out and search all the different websites uh, in the world for websites that are connected to command line, or that have something to do with command line. Right? So you hit enter. And what it'll do is it'll talk about It'll bring them back, and it'll it'll put on the very top one the website that it thinks you most want to look at, the command line interface on Wikipedia. This is a free encyclopedia, and it talks about the command line. All right. Now, the very next, and if I click on this button right here, any, anytime I go over a link, uh, and and my cursor turns in, my pointer turns into a finger. It looks like a hand. That means you can click on that link and it'll take you over to that page. Right? Uh, you can see what it's talking about, the command line interface. Right? The next one down, uh, the Windows command line, uh, there it is, you know, more information dealing with the command line, command line reference A to Z. Um, so all of these um, are options for you to go search because you're interested in something about the command line. Now you can come back up here and do another Google search at this one right here. You can see where it says search. Or you can go up to, to your actual command line and highlight it so there's nothing in there and type in whatever words you want. Um, and this will allow you to search for uh, where, you're, where you're going. Um, a couple other things here. Uh, if you're, well, let's go ahead to this command line interface on Wikipedia. Um, this is the free. encyclopedia that you can go to and get all kinds of information about the command line. If you love this article on command line interface, right, for whatever reason, um, and you wanted to make it one of your favorites, so you wanted to be able to come back to this page, right, you want to be able to find it. The next time you come here, um, what you do is there's a little uh, star just to the left of the command line where you can bookmark this page. And you uh, click on that button, and basically it'll put the name of it in there, you know, command line on Wikipedia, and it'll, it'll give you a, a folder, right, uh, the bookmarks bar, and you can go ahead and uh, close that. And that, that star right, is now one of your um, bookmarks. You can get back to it. See, what it does is dropped it down onto this next uh, layer right here, See, here it is over here, the Wikipedia command line interface. Anytime you click this button, it'll take you right back to it. Now, you might, be, you might get more uh, favorites than you can have in just this one little line. Right? There's another button over on the side here that says other bookmarks. Right? There's a, they have a couple of them in there. But basically what's going to happen is you, you may have 100 bookmarks or 200 bookmarks. And you can keep putting them and storing them uh, in your bookmark folder. All right, now, you will be able to organize that um, and make different folders so that all of your um, folders dealing with, let's say, internet videos are together. You have another folder dealing with home improvement projects. You have another folder dealing with um, kids. Uh, whatever subjects you're interested in, you're searching, you can take your favorites and you bookmark them and you put them together in their own little category. So when you go back and look, you can search through your bookmarks and you'll be able to uh, find those things out on the internet. Uh, makes it very easy to do that. Um, 
the next thing, so I, I've, I've showed you the command line. So this is the main place. If you know the address of the place where you want to go to. So for instance, www.technophobicsanonymous.com. If, if you know it, you can type that in there and hit enter as well. Right? It'll take you straight over to uh, technophobicsanonymous.com. So you can either search in that area or you can put in the actual address uh, of the website that you know uh, you want to go to. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's go. Uh, now, notice up on top, uh, as I'm taking my um, cursor back and forth, um, there is there are what are called tabs. Right? If you have, and tabs are very, very important. Um, what you can do is you can uh, search for things in this one tab, and you want to keep that idea fresh, you can go open up another tab and start searching for something in this tab. You have another idea that you want to start doing some more searching on. You click this plus button here, and it'll open up a new tab for you. Right? And it gives you options of where to go to. You can go through your bookmarks. If you want to open up another tab, you click the plus button again. All right, so you may have four tabs open simultaneously, and you can click between those tabs up on the top. It's very useful. It's very fast. Right? In the past, you used to have to um, close down and close up one window in order to go to the next window, in order to go to the next window. Now, uh, Google Chrome, the way that it's set up, each tab is set up uh, separately, and if there's any problem with one of the tabs, one of the tabs crashes for any reason, it's quadranted off. And uh, you will not, you'll just close out of that tab. You won't lose any of the information you have in the other tabs that are going to an excellent service uh, by Google um, and uh, very useful. Um, <clears throat> one of the other things that you can do is once you've been surfing for a little while, oh, uh, <clears throat> once you've been surfing for a little while, there are um, <clears throat> the most visited websites that you've been to will start showing up down here in uh, the, they have these most visited sites. So pretty soon, uh, as you start visiting sites, these are gonna be filled in with the picture of those different websites. All right? There's six um, rectangles there right now, but there's actually gonna be nine rectangles after you've been surfing for a couple weeks. And so the ones that you go to most often are gonna be right there. You can just easily click on them, and it'll take you right to that uh, area. Uh, now you can close down a tab by clicking the X button, uh, and you know if you want another uh, tab, you hit the plus button, it'll pop it open, and then you just type in the place where you want to go uh, visit. Um, uh, these two buttons over here right, have to do with uh, some of the things that you can do, um, looking at your history, all the different pages you've gone to, looking at your bookmark manager, uh, in other words, where are the the uh, bookmarks, the folders that you have, how are they stored, and this is, this is what you're going to use when you start getting you know, 20, 30, 40 bookmarks, and you want to get them organized around certain categories. You'll go into your bookmark manager, you'll sort them and uh, into their correct folders, uh, and so you'll be nice and organized even in uh, Google Chrome as you're searching the internet. Um, <clears throat> we'll be looking at some more features of Google Chrome as we go along, but uh, take my word for it, it's excellent software. Uh, you're not going to be sorry that you get uh, up, up and running with Google Chrome. Um, see you soon.